Hi everybody, welcome to your Saturday Bar Sculpt Zoom replay video. All you need for this is just a mat, a chair, a bar, something to hold on to, some light weights, two pounds would be great, and an exercise ball if you want to kick it up a notch. So when you're ready, let's get started. All right, here we are in that warm up. When you're ready, let's get going with those arms. You're gonna bring them back, big circles right here for four, three, two, and go ahead and take a front, circle it out. Go take those arms forward and side, reach it up. Drop it to the left just for four. Stretching for the waist through those arms, through those fingertips, other side, reach. Let's go side to side, tap and stretch. Reaching all the way out, think about length here. Lift, twist, pull it up, high corners. Go ahead and take it forward, same thing with a little twist. Let's go two up, two forward, the lift and the press. Take it up, bring it front. Got this for four, for three, Two, bring both arms up and down, lift it up, let it go, exhale on the way down, get that breath going, two more, it's a lift and a press, last one, stretch it out, chest goes forward, arms go back and reach away every time for four, three, two, Find that lunge, leg to leg, those toes are forward. Make sure they're parallel. Make sure the chest is all the way forward. Tap one arm down, get a twist to the upper body. Really get into that lunge, lift. Making that twist a little bit bigger here. Let's bring both arms down. I want you to hold it down. Take that right arm up, wrap it back, and drop it down. Same thing, other side, lift and wrap. Tap it down, grab those elbows side to side. Bring both arms down, slow roll. All the way up, pull it back. Good, squeeze those wits together from the back. Kick that heel up, feel those hamstrings. Go for four, three, two, and one. Those arms up and down, by the bend of those legs. Second set, lift it and pull it back with those arms. You're opening up the chest as you get into those hamstrings. You got this for four, three, two, both feet down, arms pulled down and press. Oh wait, with lots of resistance, feel that control. You got one more set, take it back. Nice and easy right here. Bring it out for four, three, two, and pull those arms down, find that bend those legs. Go ahead, bring those feet together, bring those arms together. It's that lift, and that left on the way down. Bring it up, release two more, take it up, and drop, last one, lift, and shake it all the way out. All right, so good, we've got that warm up done. We are gonna move to our mat. We are gonna get those abs and a little plank. I will talk you through the modifications when you're ready. Meet me down. Make sure you have something underneath you for a little extra support, especially with those knees and hands. Here we are, hands and knees. Now make sure you're not looking down. Right away, you wanna get that alignment right. So you wanna look forward. Either you're in that modified, you're staying right here on hands and knees, or you're extending those legs out, and hello, bull challenge. Here we go, you're gonna tap that knee all the way to the elbow. The upper body is gonna move towards that leg just a little bit here. Again, we're getting those obliques. Let's go ahead and tap to the side, this time with a straight leg, and reach that leg away. Now that close to the leg gets to that outside hand, the more challenging it is going to be. So don't be afraid to come on that supporting leg. If you still feel it, two more. And let's go for that full combo. You're gonna tap it into the elbow and side. Press it forward and side. Keep that neck long for four, three, two, and I want you to hold it right here, outside hand, that supporting arm, down, lift, 
Again, you can be on those knees. Lift, lower. Four more right here for four. Down, three, for two. Let's take a little stretch. Bring those knees down, send those hips back. Find that stretch, hold for four, three, two. You've got the other side, find that plank. Other leg goes into that elbow. Breathe it out for four. Let's go for that full reach, that leg. Get like all the way out to the side. Stay with me here. Exhaling out every time. Once we're about to breathe, it helps. Let's combine it. Take the heat in. Then tap it up to the side. Pull and reach. For four, three, two, and drop it to the knees for modified full challenge. You are up. You're gonna take the outside hand to the arm. It's a lift, down, lift, down, up. Exhale, connect with that core for four, for three, for two, for one, hold. Let's go outside leg, inside leg towards that elbow. You're coming in to that finish line. Let's go for that full reach, straight leg taps out. Two more. Let's go one hand to the arm, then the other hand to the arm. Tap it for four, three, two, and hold if you're not there. Find that plank now, stay here. Bring those hips up, find that stretch. You made it. Walk those feet forward, bring those hands back, or fold and slow roll. All the way to standing, Ooh, so good. Give it a little shake, a little stretch before we move on. We're gonna move on to those arms as they're all warmed up. You can move that mat away. You have those weights. You're gonna grab them now, and you're gonna meet me in the center. Let's get those arms. Remember though, those weights, they are optional. It is totally fine not to have them. Trust me, you'll still feel it. You're gonna bring those legs wide. You're gonna bring those knees so they're slightly bent, chest to be open. Bring those arms all the way out, elbows bent right here. We're gonna lift those arms up, then reach, lift, reach, lift. You notice that lower half, it's relaxed, it's easy. Take a little shake from side to side, whatever you're comfortable with. We are focused on that upper body, chest lifted, arms reaching with control. Core still in though, navel to spine. Lift, press for four, reach it out. Three, press away, two, press. Hold it out, bend and reach. Start to travel those arms up high to the corners of the room. And then lift all the way to the ceiling for four, three, two, push those arms all the way out. High corners of the room. And travel those arms all the way out to the side. Second set. It's a lift. Reach. Lift. Press. For four. Three. Two. Take those arms all the way back up. We're in that second set. High corners of the room. Bring it all the way up to the ceiling. Now bring those arms all the way back up. Start to travel them back down. Getting back to the beginning and full. Let's go. One last full set here. It's a lift and reach. Lift and press. Four, three, two. So to travel those arms up high corners of the room. Oh my gosh, those arms, right? I want you to stay here. Arms are just dropping to shoulder height, no lower. Now I want you to get a little twist at the top. Palms rotate back. So we're starting to get a little bit into those triceps, back sides of those arms for a full. Three, two, palms go down double time. Reach out, out. Notice those arms are barely coming in here. Push them away. Two, three, right arm goes up and down. It's a lift, lower. Yes, you are moving with the arms through that waist. Opposite arm, staying really strong. Both arms, reach it out. 
Yes. Stay with me here. Let's go other side. Take it up, up. Move from that waist. Get those abs working here. Just two more here. And hold it front, push it away. Press, press. Yes, stay here. Woo. And let's travel. Bring those arms up to eye level. Can you stay with me? Keep the weight forward. Try not to push away. Yes, now bring it all the way up the ceiling. And oh my gosh, it's crazy. Right toe to shoulder height, reach it out. Out, back the high corners of the room. Push it away. Add that twist, pumps go back. Back for eight, seven, press it away, four more, four, three, two, bring the side palms down, reach it out, 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 for four, three, two, and one, pull it in, push it back, back, hello, triceps, a little bit deeper there, right, four, three, two, Hold it back a little bit and press, press, press. So those arms are barely coming in. That is one, two, three. Come all the way up and down and punch it down. Push it down. Press, press. Keep going here. Open those arms up wide. Palms go forward. Reach it out. Last four, three, two. You made it. So good, drop those weights, make sure they are away from you because we are done with them. Find that arm stretch. Once again, bring that elbow up this time. Maybe stretching the side of our waist as well. Take a little lean side to side with the arm and shake it all the way out. Okay, stay with me here. I want you to grab that chair or whatever you have to hold on to because we're gonna get those legs. When you're ready, go ahead and grab that, stay with me or pause me, grab some water, do whatever you need to, and get into it when you are ready. Okay, here we are. Those feet are together. You're gonna take your outside hand on your hip. And when you're ready, let's come into that lunge position. So the inside foot forward, outside leg goes back. Now that knee's right underneath that hip, and you're gonna start to pulse it out. Okay, check it out here. Knee right underneath that hip. So it's not a big lunge, it's a small lunge. All about that alignment to keep the knee protected, low back protected, and we're gonna get the most out of this. All right, get the most out of that workout by thinking about that alignment, keeping that chest up, keeping the work out of your back, and putting it into that core instead. Take that outside hand behind your head, let's get those abs involved, it's a twist. Center, twist, center, for four, three, good, now elbow to hip, take it down, then reach up, tap, then reach, tap, reach, tap. Four more, four, up, lean, then lift, two, yes, hold. I want you to take it forward, drop it to your elbow that's supporting hand, bring that back leg all the way up. You're gonna find that C curl, pull the knee in, and then reach it long, find that neutral spine. Let's go for it. Pull the knee in, out. Keep the neck long on that extension for four. Reach long. Press it away. Two. I want you to hold this leg back. I want you to bend down that supporting leg. Flex those toes. So those spring toes are going to come off the floor and pulse from here. Pulse. Pulse. Shoulders stay out of it. For eight. Seven. Ooh. Bring it back to the top. Toes go down. Back foot goes down and pulse. Pulse. We're in that second set. Take that outside hand behind your head. Get into that twist. Rotate. Keep that pulse going. Stay low. Tap that hip. Tap. Can you lean a little bit closer to that hip each time? Now we should take it forward. Pull it in. Reach away. Keep low on that supporting leg. Hold it back. Flex the spring toes and pulse. Pulse. Getting right to those thighs, right? Four, three. One more time from the top here. Pulse down. Down. Start with a tall posture. Outside hand moves behind your head. Elbows can stay wide as you twist. So good for that waist, right? Woo. Let's go take it to our hip. It's a tap. Then reach. 
trying to tap the hip to her waist. Take it forward. It's a reach. C curve. Two more. Hold it back. Hand goes on the hip. Flex those supporting toes and pulse. I want you to stay right here. Stay with me for eight more. Getting a little bit deeper on that supporting side. Can keep those toes flexed. It's going to up level this exercise. Now bring those toes down, but keep your chest forward. Get down really low with that supporting leg. Relax that supporting shoulder. Take that chest out. Take the outside arm overhead. Inside arm overhead. Here we are in that final set. Stay lifted and tall for eight. Bring those arms all the way up. Final four, three, two, you made it. Oh my gosh, here's a little round of applause. So good. Find that stretch. Find water if you need it. Good stretch. It's that quad stretch. So nice to get right into those thighs after all of that. We're taking lean forward. Try not to ignore that stretch. It's so important. The recovery part of the workout is just as important as the actual workout. Okay, shake it out. So if you do need to keep stretching, that's okay. You join in when you're ready. I'm gonna take that bar to the other side. You're gonna come around whenever a good time is for you. Place that hand on your hip. Bring that outside leg to the back. Bend it down, get low through both legs, but keep the chest up. Let's go for it. Pulse down. Now, if you want to make it a little bit easier here, you have more of a lift in between. You've been doing this for a while, you're just feeling real good today. You want to go for it. I encourage you to stay a little bit lower, coming up a little bit less. Shoulders dropped. Put the extra tension into that core. With every pulse, can you find those abs? Yes. Breathing out here. That breath is going to re-energize your whole body. It's often helping to get deeper into that center. You get that outside hand behind your head. Out of that twist. Center. Twist. We're keeping that chest radiating forward. Good. Let's have it to our hip now. Hip. Reach. You are reaching straight to the ceiling in between. No leaning. On the way up. For four. Up. Pulse. Pulse. Two more. Yes, this first set is slow. Take it forward. You're gonna find that C curve. You're dropping the supporting elbow on the bar. Reach it long. Let's go for it. It's a tap. Reach. That gaze informs the spine. So where are you looking? To the leg on the way in. Forward on the way out. For four. Can you stay low on that supporting side? Two. Now let's hold it out. Hand goes on the hip. Supporting toes come off the floor if you can. Pulse. Three, bring it back up. Find that lunge, relax that supporting side. We're in that second set, toes go down. Outside hand goes behind your head. Let's go for it with that rotation. Move the sofa that please. Getting going. Doing all the things, right? Getting those legs, yes. But also, that core. And those arms are still working. Take it forward with the reach. C curve, reach. Stay low here. On this last one, I want you to hold it out. Bring those spring toes off the floor and pulse. Pulse, stay low. Toes go down, find that lunge. Guess what, we're in that final round. Yay! Bring that outside hand behind your head. Find that twist. Center. Center. Bring the elbow to the head a little bit closer. And reach for the ceiling. Get that length on the way up. Take it forward. Reach. Seek. Drop low on the supporting side. Keep those shoulders down. I want you to hold it all the way up. Hand goes on the hips. Spring toes come off the floor. Dig deep. In that core. No gripping your thighs. You're gonna let them fire all on their own. Of course, that's supporting seat and hamstrings, the back side of your legs. They're gonna fire up as well. Got an extra four here. Press four, three, two. Bring those toes down. Find that leg. Relax the spring elbow. Keep it pulsing. Now start to lift up. Take that outside arm overhead. Bring that arm overhead. Stay with me here for four, three, two. 
you did it. So good. Shake it on out again. Find that squat stretch. Maybe you're looking for a back stretch. Keep going forward. It's always a good one for that. Okay. Here we are with those stretches. And then you are going to move that chair out of the way. You are going to grab your mat. You're going to knee down and we're going to continue to get those legs, this time focusing on our outer thighs. So take your time, join me down the mat. Let's get ready together. Switching up just a little bit here today. But you normally take my group classes. This is old school, kick it in old school. All right, back that OG format. We're coming down the side of our hip, dropping it to our elbow. Or coming all the way down. It's gonna make it a little bit easier for back, but you were still gonna burn that outer thigh, that side seat. Alright? Wherever you are, especially your up. Chest open, shoulders back. Or you can here on the elbow. Just lift the weight in the back. That core is still working. Then I want you to reach that leg out. You're gonna flex this. So the leg is parallel, but it's going forward, it feels back. And from here, let's lift it up. And then hip level. It's a lift. Lower. Keep that weight forward here, right? So shoulders back, that chest open. Lift. Lift. Two. I want you to hold up. A little closer here. Yes, that leg is lifting up, but I want you to know about that reach. Reaching through that heel, but that leg is to press away from the hip. Go pull a little bit deeper to the core. You get those abs involved a little more. Yes. From here, I want you to reach like all the way front. Toes go down. Good goes up. Tuck the toe down. Then heel lifts. A little bonus here. We're also feeling the side of your waist even on this round. So, oblique cut a glass. For four. Up. Three. Up. Two. And I want you to hold this leg up. You're going to lift without moving through that waist. Go for four. Three. Two, second set is set. First set is done. We're moving on to that second set. Here we go. It's a lift. Notice again, that leg is just dropping to hip height. No lower. And it's only lifting about an inch up in between. Little lift and lift. Go for four, for three, for two. Yes, I want you to hold it up. Let's travel that leg forward. Toe goes down, heel is up, and push that heel away. Keep that core in and lift. Stay with me here for four, three, two. I want you to hold this leg up. Ooh, and little lift from here, pulse it up. And up, go for four, three, two. Bring that leg back to the side. You're at that final round. Come all the way down for this one. It's a lift, lower, lift, lower. Keep reaching through that heel, reaching through that leg, two more. And now hold this leg up, it's a lift. Lift, for four, three, two, oh my gosh, feel that seat, right? Take it forward, last full set here, toe down, heel up. Really try to get that angle right. Push up through that heel, keep that top shoulder back. Ooh, stay with that alignment for four. And that isolation. Yeah, try not to get those hips involved. And now hold this leg up, use that core to pull that leg up a little bit higher. As you pulse for four, three, Two, bring that leg back to the side, leg goes parallel. We're gonna come up to our elbow for just a moment. We're gonna pull it in and then point and reach. Flex it in, point, reach, flex, push away. For four, reach, three, Woo. two. Yes, come on down, hold it out, little bend and kick. We are at that grand finale. We start to bring that leg up. I know it feels terrible, but stay with me. I know you can do it. Little bend and kick for eight, seven, six, Five, last four, three, two, you made it. Come on down. Woo, so good. Come on up. Take that big stretch. Amazing. Maybe bring one leg over. We are going to come around to the other side. I'm going to grab that music. So when you're ready, you can get another side. Maybe grab some water here. But don't leave. Stay with me.
Are you still with me? Let's get the other side. Here we go. Coming around into the other hip. hip. Dropping to her elbow, keeping that weight forward, shoulders back, chest is open. Bring the legs inside. It is flexed, it is parallel. Let's lift and lower. Little lift in between. So small here. Right? Not a big range of motion at all. Those hips are open. Shoulders back. But that weight is forward. Two more. Hold it up and little lift from here. Lift. 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 For four, three, two, I drop that leg front. Toe goes down, heel goes up. It's a lift. Lift. Hold that core in. Push that heel away. Push that breath. Exhale as the leg comes up. Hold that leg up. Little lift from here. Press up. Yes, the leg is moving, but how about those hips? Are they getting small? Why is that a solution? Make the range of motion a little bit smaller. Focus on our core a little bit more, especially if you're having a hard time with just the that leg and not the whole body. Focus on the center, that core, exhale. Hold that leg up, little lift, lift. And that reach too, right? The idea of length that leg away is gonna actually help to stabilize you. Through those hips. Beautiful, draw that leg front, toe goes down, heel goes up. Push that heel away. Now I'm also putting the top of my waist. It's great to know that you're also getting those abs, even when we're working those legs, right? The idea, working with the inside out, hold that leg up. Check on that supporting side, have we start to sink down. Ooh, drop that shoulder, keep that back protected. So important. Three, two, bring that leg back to the side and parallel. I'll drop it down for this last round. It's a lift, lower. Lower, bring it up, and up, lift. Just four more here, just two more. Now hold it up, little pulse from here, lift, lift. For four, three, two, you're gonna go to bring that leg front. Okay, we've got those abs after this, and then we're up to standing, it will be our last thing standing. Push those heels way up to the ceiling. Stay with me. I know it doesn't feel good, but you can do it. It's a lift and lift. Good news is we're finishing this round off. Three, two, bring the leg parallel. Come on back up to our elbow. You're gonna flex pulling it all the way in and then point it to the way. Flex it in, point it to the way. Bring it in and press. Tap and press for four. Exhale, as the legs stand, number two. Now I want you to come all the way down to that grand finale. It's a tiny, tiny bend. And kick, legs pillow, hips are forward, chest open. If you can, drop that leg up. So that's awful, but stay with me. That final eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two. You need it, come on down. Oh my gosh, we need to give up that instruct. So press yourself up. The outer thigh, that side seat is done. Amazing. Up and over to the other side. Come on up, give that leg a well-deserved hug. Even the stretch can feel a little painful. Whoa. So good. Stack those legs. Come on forward. Ooh, yeah. Shake out those legs. Okay, so we're gonna come around onto our back and we're going to get those abs. Do you have your exercise ball nearby? If you don't, take a moment. You're gonna grab it. You're gonna lean down your back. If you don't have that ball, that's okay. You'll still get those abs. But if you do have it, we're gonna place it above those knees. We're gonna get into those inner thighs. All right, so come on around when you're ready. Ooh, fall between those inner thighs. Drop it all the way down. We're gonna bring those legs up to a tabletop position. Right away, get those shoulders down. Make sure there's no arching in that back. Right, you're gonna pull those ribs down, flat to the back. And you also wanna take a tilt in that pelvis. 
Now from here, you're gonna bring those legs to a hover, then exhale it. And as those legs lift, I want you to squeeze that ball at the top. Lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. That's right, press that ball in like you're just trying to take the air out of that ball. For four, three, two. And place those hands behind your head. Add a little lift. Exhale up. Use that breath. For four, for three, for two, and one. Now I want you to reach those legs out, squeeze it in. Now the lower those legs go, the more challenging it's gonna be. All right, I think retrograde is in full swing here. My music is coming in and out. But I hope you're still with me. We got this. Four more for four, three, two, and back from the top. I want you to tap and lift, squeeze. Can you keep those elbows wide? Four more, hold for four, three, two, low arms, head, shoulders, reach out, squeeze it in. Get that press in. For three, two, one more time to the top. Add that top and that lift. All right, making sure that back isn't arching. Maybe those toes don't come far down. That's okay. And that's all about that alignment so you can get the most out of those abs. Just two more. Yeah, go so arms, head, shoulders. Just like right out the squeeze in. Back to leg. Perfect. I want you to hold it in, just squeeze. Squeeze, you don't have that ball. And those legs in and out. Four, three, two, hold those elbows, and tap, tap, tap. Can you hold it a little higher when you're switching gears, getting to those upper abs on this round? We're lifting that seat up. Using that breath for four. Yes. Good, now I want you to reach it all the way up. Fold all the way in. Exhale, up top. Stay with me, you've got four. Lift up. Just squeeze the ball all the way up. Try to bring the seat up. Off the mat, you've got two. Now I want you to hold this last one up. Fold those elbows in and lift. Lift. Woo! Bird it out for eight. Seven. Lift for four. Yes. Take that ball behind the right arm and reach. Reach. Modify. Keep both hands behind your head. Move the ball to the side. Top to the center and twist it. And twist. Four. Three. Other side. It's that reach. Reach past that leg. Keep the seat for moving. You got these blue to the mat. Tap it, center, twist, center, twist. Three, four, three, two. Can you take both hands into that ball a little bit and reach? Not about hands behind your head. Bring those legs up. If I'm straight, reach to the toes. Lift, lift. Reach those legs all the way up. Bring the seat all the way up for four. For three, for two, and you made it! Woohoo! Take them off the side, pull those legs in, give them a little shake. A little rock. Bring those legs all the way down, take that twist. And then save the other side, take that twist. Find that ball. Let's come all the way up to standing with that ball. If you have it, we are gonna find our chair, whatever we have for support. And so last six standing and then you're down the mat to finish. So you almost made it. So stay with me. Keep that ball nearby. Take that mat away. Make sure it's not too far away. Because we will be coming back down after the bar. Take this time to grab some water if you need it. Reset yourself. But stay with me. Finish this class off. We are almost there. Here we are. Find that ball. If you have it, if you don't, that's okay. Let's get those boots. 
take that ball behind me, you have it, flex that foot, and both knees are in the bend. Chest is lifted tall, and you are lifting from the belly button. Let's draw you all the way up to the ceiling as you press for eight, seven, Take with me, three, two, and hold the squeeze just that seat. Hold that core in really tight. So we are moving just from those glutes. Now pulse both legs, pulse, pulse. No momentum here. Work from the seat and the abs. That's your focus. Now take that chest forward, turn that knee out, drop to your elbow. Lift and lower. Toes are pointed, chest is forward. Right hip pipe, then ceiling squeeze. For four, three, modify. You are up, right? Two, and leg is low. Now hold it up, just lift, 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 lift. Four, take it back to top. Bring it parallel, both legs, pulse. Bring that lift, run that core all the way to the ceiling. Hold it back, just squeeze. Just squeeze. Get into it. Stay with me. Both legs. Let's go. Pulse it out. Yes, you're getting low in that lower half, but you're lifting up tall and crazy with the upper body. Take it forward, turn it out. It's a lift and lower. Supporting me is bent. Good. Hold it up. Just a little lift. Just a squeeze. Squeeze. No momentum here. All that's gonna do is tire you out. Make you more prone to injury. We're trying to avoid that. Be a little bit stronger, a little more connected to the center. Four, three, two. So move with control and pulse and lift and lengthen. Just a couple things to think about. Hold it back here. Just squeeze that seat back, back. Four. In that final set here, both legs go. Pulse. That's right. Four, three, two. Take it forward, turn it out. It's a lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two. Hold it up. Just pulse and lift for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two. You're gonna turn that supporting leg and lift. Flex that foot. Just squeeze it out. Bring that ass arm up, inside arm up. Lift, find that balance. Last eight, seven. Stay with me here for four, three, two. You made it. Yes. Amazing to find that stretch, especially that supporting side. I know I got a little work out there. Bring that heel over, chest forward. Guess what, just one more side. And then we're down the mat and we made it. Here we are at that finish line for the whole class. So let's try to finish this off as strong as we started. So if that means we need to take a moment, grab some water, do that. Get it when you're ready. Okay, flex the foot, chest lifted. Let's go. Pulse both legs out. It's a pulse. Pulse. I've always got that imaginary strain and it's lifting it to the ceiling. Ooh. Right? Four. Three. Good. Hold it back. Just do that seat. Little squeeze. Chin off that chest. This is radiating forward. Cracking that tall, proud posture here. Both legs go. Pulse it out. Out. What about that back? We're going to take the chest forward. Elbow down. Toes pointed. Lift and lower. But keep that leg turned out for four. Three. Yes, hold it up, just squeeze. Can you get into that seat? Work from the glutes. Instead of that thigh, three, two, second set, bring it back in, flex. Push both legs away. Still lifting up tall. Hold it back, just squeeze, squeeze. You gotta see that leg moving. That's how you know you're doing it right. Push both legs away and get low on that supporting leg. Don't forget about it. Both legs are working equally here. Bring the chest forward, turn that from the back. It's a lift and lower. Now the chest is forward, the leg is turned out. Yeah, so I want you to hold it up now. Just squeeze, squeeze. 
squeeze. From those boots. Four. We've got one last full set. Let's make it work again. Flex that foot and press. Ooh. That knee's were working with that resistance. You're staying with me here. Just flex. Squeeze. Stay up. Try not to lose that posture. Yes. Here we go. Both legs. Pulse. Pulse. Ooh. Feel those abs coming in the whole time. Big in front, turn it out. Point those toes. It's a lift. It's a lift. Purple. I want you to get into those glutes. Get into it. Squeeze. 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 Keep that neck long. Stay with me. Coming up, turn out that supporting leg. Thumb leg drops down. Supporting leg comes down a little bit lower here. Flex that foot. Both legs turn out. Squeeze. Outside arm lifts, inside arm lifts for the full challenge for eight. Up. So the party can always come down to that modified for four. Three, two, you made it. Ooh. Shake it out. So good. All right. That bar portion of the class is over. Take that chair bar away. Come on down, on the mat, without that ball. Face off the side, just your mat to finish. Here we go. Okay, we are gonna come all the way down. We are gonna be on our hands, on our knees, and we need a little plank. One more time to finish out. Here we go, you are on hands and knees. Let's all drop it to our elbows. Now, modify. You're gonna just stay on those knees and you're just gonna bring those hips to a hover right here, okay? Full challenge though, you're gonna extend both legs out. Drop the shoulders. Other body's gonna press forward. Now try to go from that core and less again from the momentum from the feet. Exhale. Press forward. Two, three. Yes, drop those knees. Press underneath your hips, come all the way up to standing. Modify your right here, full challenge. You're gonna bring those knees up and down. Lift, lower, modify. You can come into that C curve for four, three, two, and hold. Modify, drop those knees, full challenge. Hold those knees up to a hover. Elbows go to the side. Push it out. Keep the neck long for four, three, two, and one. Before you drop those knees, Come on to your elbows, hips, hover for modify. Full challenge, legs straighten, hips go down. Right hand, tap. Yes, other side, tap, four. Three, two, one. Bring those knees underneath those hips. Lift, lift. Without changing that long spine or modify, come with that C curve. C curve. Two, and hold, elbows to the side, push it out, and press, purple, three, two, and one, drop to those elbows, hips to hover, legs straighten, let's go, tap side to side, or on those knees, two more, now bring that chest forward, out. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Walk those knees in. Hands underneath those hips. It's a lift. Look. Lift. Look. Four. Three. Two. And hold. Elbows go to the side. And press. Four. And one, I watch you come all the way down. Send the chest forward, pin the shoulders. It's a lift, lower. We're getting in for tricep to finish. I want you to go ahead and move the side of your arms to your shirt. Keep those elbows bent. Lift. Shoulders stay down. Modify, just bring me to a little hover. Or you're bringing your butt button off the back. Ooh, lift. Those elbows again, 
they are bent and they are glued to your shirt. So shoulders are pulled down like crazy. You are looking forward. Let's add those legs. It's a lift. All the way down. Whole body work on Lift. Lift. Can you stay with me? For four. Three. Two. And one. I want you to bring those legs down, but bring the chest up. And pulse to finish. Last eight. Seven. Oh my gosh. For four. Three. Two. One. You made it. So good. Check it out. You did it. Hard part is over. Good. Maybe shake out those arms a little bit. When you get some feeling back in those arms, press yourself up for a stretch. Woo! Push yourself up. That was mean. <laughs> After all of that, if you made it through, be sure to comment underneath. I want to know you did the whole thing. I'm sending you a virtual congratulations right now. Oh, because that was no joke. Oh my gosh, shake it out. All right, knee me all the way up to standing. Let's finish with that cool down. You can keep that mat nearby, knee electric support underneath you. And if you need electric support for balance, you can even grab a chair. Either way, let's finish with this cool down. Legs go wide, interlace those hands, lift. Exhale, press the seat back, arms forward, chest forward. And lift up and over to one side and up and over the other side. And once again, exhale forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, stretch. I don't know what happened to that music, but let's use that breath. Use this time to connect. Pull down, slow down before we get back into our busy day. Full, full stretch here. Pull the arm back, arch it over, same the other side, it's a big stretch of that waist. And pull it back and rotate, arch it over, bring the arm back up, drop down chin to chest, roll it down, grab those elbows, rock it side to side. Then walk those fingertips through. Bring those hands forward, walk those feet together. Walk those hands back towards your toes, so let yourself hang. Knee soft, slow roll all the way up for those quads. Bring one foot into your hand. You just hold on to something, you can grab that now. Otherwise, make it a balance exercise. Push that leg back, push the arm forward. Balance doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay for a little wobbly here. Find that deep stretch of that quad. Same thing, other side, you're gonna bend them down. Bring the other foot into your hand. Find that quad stretch. Hold it here or reach it all the way out. Find that quad stretch. Feet together. Bring one hand overhead. Find that neck. Stretch other side. Bring those palms together. Drop those shoulders up and down. One more time. Close those eyes for those last breaths. Inhale and exhale. Big inhale. Big exhale. Palms together over your heart. Inhale and exhale and final inhale and exhale release you did it yay thank you so much for doing this with me you did fantastic i can't wait to see you next time bye